Hi, welcome to this new Java interview question. In this question, you are given a list of data. So here you have a array list of security data. So security data is the POJO. It has ISIN, the name of the company, you have the price and then you have the quantity. So once you have the data, you stream it, you filter it on a condition, give it a predicate here we have the name starting with m and then you collect it in a collector and then print it so here you get the answer as mind tree because mind tree starts with m now the interviewer wants you to implement your own collector so let's see how we can do this so every collector implements the collector interface so let's implement the collector interface let's have a look inside the collector interface so here the interface takes three arguments the type of input so this is the type of input the mutable accumulation type of reduction operation remember the collector comes in picture as a reduction operation so every stream can be mapped filtered and reduced reduced means it's a terminal operation and collector comes in picture as the reduction operation. The third variable is the result type of the reduction operation. So you have the input element, the accumulation and the reduction. To create your own collector, you have to implement methods called supplier, accumulator, combiner, finisher and characteristic. So supplier gives you the resulting container. The accumulator accumulates the items inside the resulting container. The combiner combines if there are multiple lists as an intermediate accumulation type, then it gives you a single list out of it. The finisher is the last step and generally gives you this is this set should be immutable. So gives you an immutable result set and there is a characteristic. So characteristic is an enum which tells you a characteristic about your collector either it can be an identity finish or it can be unordered or concurrent. So here you have off overloaded you have one of here two of here if you go inside and see the methods are called in a sequence something like a template design pattern supplier accumulator combiner characteristic and if you come here you will see supplier accumulator combiner finisher and characteristic so we are going to try to work on this one so let's for a minute forget about this and come here and implement our methods so the first one is the supplier so as we saw the supplier is actually the first one called and it's going to give you the container so here we are going to use a array list and let's just give a new array list here. So if you have a look at the supplier interface, it doesn't take anything but gives you a single param back. So here we have our supplier and this is our array list which will act as the container. Then we have our by consumer being returned from our second method that's the accumulator so accumulator basically takes your items adds it to the container and it takes two arguments so the by consumer takes two arguments on t and u so here we are going to give it the first one which is actually the container and then we have our item which is going to be the pojo so let's implement this you can simply implement this as maybe a list and the security and then we are going to simply add it to the list so we do a list dot add the security and that should be enough the third method is the combiner so the combiner actually gives back a binary binary operator 
has a single type parameter so the single type parameter will be our container so let's give it our container here so we have our container and combiner actually adds intermediate results so let's give our implementation here so we have multiple lists maybe list 1 and list 2 and we are going to merge them inside so maybe something like list 1 dot add all and we are going to add the list 2 and then we will return our single list 1 from here so we have our combiner here then we have our finisher so finisher should return a unmodifiable collection so we can simply return a unmodifiable list let's first get the collection and now we can give out the unmodifiable list here let's have a look at the function okay so function takes two parameters so one is the argument and one is the list okay so here we can simply add our input and output both are going to be a containers here as this is the finisher so the first one and we have two so this should be the second one so this gives us the finisher and the last one is the characteristic let's add a parameter here so we are going to return a enum insider set let's maybe create a hash set here let's name it as result and then we can return it here so let's add a characteristic to it and let's select unordered and return the result here. so we have implemented all of them let's substitute our collector on this okay so okay let's create a method to list and to list is going to return our collector and here we can simply so this is done now it says type mismatch cannot convert from object to list of security data okay so what happens if we cast this and then return so you have a working character but there is an issue which we should look at this is not the right way if you are using generics to type cast and stuff like that that's happening because if you see the signature of the collector says tar so we need to give the input type the accumulation container and the reduction container so let's do that also here so our input type is nothing but a security data the intermediate is a list and then our final is also a list okay so this is an issue okay so now it should work so we don't have to cast and everything and if you run it we'll get the answer and now you are using your own collector you can do whatever you want here actually you can change it to wipro it should give wipro yeah so now you have your own collector thanks for watching